Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Oh, please ignore this hand. She's a mess. Um, I'm doing another mediocre nail art attempt here. You guys were way too nice on the first one I did. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it up in the corner here. Um, everyone was like, wow, your designs actually look pretty good. Liars, all of you. All of you are liars. Don't lie to me. I know they suck. That's why this is fun. So once again, as you can see, I have painted down my base colors for my nails and I just wanted to do some Hanukkah nail art because Hanukkah is coming soon. And I feel like Hanukkah is vastly overlooked in this country, at least in the area of the US where I live. Our local stores always have like this itty bitty little end cap with like a menorah and a bunch of gelt on it. And that's about it. And so compared to the Christmas aisles, which are never ending, it just feels a little unfair. And so I always like to try to incorporate a little bit of Hanukkah stuff just leading up to Christmas because it's fun and I think it's cool. When I was in high school, I had a friend who would bring me to temple on the first night of Hanukkah every year. And it was something I really enjoyed doing. And I liked eating the latkes to be quite honest. And so I thought, let me try to brainstorm some nail designs that would be appropriate for the season. Once again, in case you didn't see the last one, I am not talented in any way. So this is more like a lighthearted video where you watch an unskilled person attempt nail art rather than me teach you anything, you know, useful. So just, it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be simple and hopefully this time around, I might get more than one good design. So first of all, on my thumb here, I have Orly's Blue Tango and over the top of that, I wanted to take some of Essie's No Place Like Chrome, which does need to be shaken up. And I was going to do the dreidel symbol Gimel and I thought I would do that in the metallic silver over this blue. I thought they would look together and they were seasonally appropriate colors. Um, th the symbol for Gimel does look a lot like the symbol for Noon. So if I end up putting Noon on my nail instead of Gimel, well, that's what's gonna happen. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this kind of smaller brush and try to freehand it. And it's gonna be difficult because <laughs> This is like upside down to me and I don't want to like crank my hand around and try. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try. I definitely tried to go for slightly simpler designs this time solely because last time I think I had my heart set too high. Now in theory, this one should be super easy because it should be like three separate strokes. And yet I just get nervous. Okay, so I I didn't grow up uh I didn't grow up learning Hebrew or anything, so I couldn't tell you how good that looks. To me, I'm like, oh, I did better than expected, and I feel like I should go over it with a second coat. But I also think that it kind of looks like a dinosaur. Metallics dry pretty quickly though, so that's kind of one of the other reasons why I wanted to use a metallic, because I thought this would be an easy design, it would dry quickly, and the metallic would kind of stand out. I'm realizing now that it's not centered, but I don't think it's too bad. I feel like the design is too simple though. So we're gonna press our luck and just do some really itty bitty metallic dots everywhere. So yeah, not the, not the best design. But I wanted to start with something simple because last time was a train wreck. I think this would be fun to do like four fingers uh, each side of the dreidel and then like maybe the fifth finger do like gelt or something like that on there, like some of the gold, but you know, it's, it's good for what it is. So let's move on to the pointer and the color for that is Zoya's blue and it's spelled like B-L-U. And I have, I went all Zoya for this one. So we have Zoya's Marin right here. And then I have Zoya Dream. And finally, Zoya Trixie. And what we're gonna do is a dot here, which, yeah, the first two are easy cop outs, but that's because the second three, does that make sense? Uh, the last three are gonna be harder. So the, we're just starting with easy mode. And I've actually never done a dot here before. So I thought we would just do that and see how I messed that one up. But I do have a variety of dotting tools. So I think I wanna use probably 
these more like larger dotter heads because that's a lot of ground to cover. Do you cover the whole nail? I actually don't know. I tried to get like a variety of textures in this. I don't know how that's gonna look, but let's start with the basic cream first, Marin. And I guess you just kind of dot them all kind of randomly. I don't know if you could tell, but being random is not my forte. I always feel like I need to do like a very systematic approach to something. So I have a feeling this one's gonna look a little funny when I do it. When other people do it, it looks so pretty and like, I, I don't know, I don't know why I can't just be random. All right, let's add some dream. I feel like this is like one of those cult classic type Zoya polishes, isn't it? This is like one of those that everybody's like, you gotta have this one. I know there's supposed to be like some level of overlap on these, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like it just looks like it has a disease. This is not how I imagined it. I don't know, maybe you just have to go over them a few times. Let's get some silver in there to break this up. There we go, maybe. I just feel like this doesn't look how I expected it to look. Maybe I needed more colors. Maybe that's the problem, but I only picked a few. Uh, maybe if I go back over some of it with the base color, that will help. I just feel like I'm too uptight to do some of these types of nail arts, you know? Like, I just, I, I like order too much. Oh, that was too much. You know what? We're just going to quit while we're ahead. I feel like, I don't know what I feel like. Maybe these are only meant for shorter nails. Maybe my nails are too long for this now. I don't know. So far, we got two that, they're not bad, but they're not, like, good either. And now we're getting into ones that I, like, actually have to try to do stuff for. So, for my middle finger, I painted down a gray base. This is Orly's Dreamers Awake, um, because I wanted it to look kind of dark in the background of this image, but I felt like black was going to be too dark because what I want to do is have a candle burning. So for the candle, I'm going to use Cecine Pa Blanc, also by Orly, also from the same collection. Those are both from the Surrealist collection. And for the candle wick, we have Orly's Liquid Vinyl. This is an all Orly one, by the way. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? And then for the flame, we have Orly's Persistent Memory. Apparently, I just really wanted to use the Surrealist collection. And I also have Orange Punch, which this is an older one, judging by the cap. And finally, I have Claim to Fame. And we're going to try to draw kind of like a halfway up candle and then a flame and I think I can do it. I'm gonna use this brush here because I feel like it can kind of make like a straight line and I kind of block it like make a little block. Let's go just straight down the middle. Ooh, that's a little bit sheer. Okay, we're gonna pretend this candle is lumpy because there's wax running down it, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna add another coat of this color. I got a vague candle shape. I got a couple coats on. Um, I know that the Hanukkah candles are typically smaller, like thinner, skinnier, but sometimes our brush gets away from us. So we'll take that black and just add like just the tiniest, the, just the tiniest, the tiniest little wick. Yeah, see, that's a candle. Look, it's a candle. I did okay. Uh, now we're going to add the flame, which is the part where <laughs> things will go badly. I want to do like kind of like that cartoony type of flame. Um, I don't know how well that's going to go. I'm kind of just going to like dab it on in the vague shape of a flame. And then each color just go a little bit inside. And just a little bit of yellow. Okay, I mean, I feel like you could kind of tell it's a candle. I feel like if I was confident, I would put in like drip details, but I'm not confident. So we're just gonna leave that one as it is. Okay, here's where I actually get maybe too confident. So what I wanna do is put some gelt on this finger, which it's Live Love Polishes Rue Morgue. Now this is now Mooncat, so you can still get this shade, I believe. It is a matte shimmer blue. It is so pretty. And I thought it would look really cool with uh, some metallics. And I figured, well, in my head, the idea was that the uh, 
SC's good as gold would be the base. And then I would try to do like just a little like, I don't know, whisper of a design with penny talk on it so that it kind of contrasted, but not really. Because typically Gelt has like Star of David or like a menorah engraved on it. And Gelt is just like the coins you get for like playing uh, dreidel and stuff like that. Um, they're the chocolate coins at like the grocery store and they're so good. I love chocolate coins. I don't know what that chocolate is, but I love it. I'm sure every European who's watching this would be like, Hillary, that's disgusting. They've probably never even had it, to be honest. But um, yeah, everybody who's not from America hates our chocolate. <laughs> I love our chocolate. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try that. So I'm gonna use Good as Gold as the base and we're gonna make uh, like three circles on the nail and those will be the gelt. And then I'll try to do, I don't think I can draw a menorah that tiny or at all, but I'll just try to kind of fake a little design with this one on there. I'm gonna use a big like dotter again, kind of like I did with the snowman in the last one. Oh no, it's an oval. <laughs> okay, all right. Um. Oh no, okay, that's, it's just an oval coin now. We're gonna do two more. Oh, I made that one too big. Oh, okay, that one's kind of a circle. And then the last one, also kind of a circle. Maybe they're too big, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Pe Penny Talk by Essie and we might be able to kind of make a design. I don't think the contrast is high enough on these two colors because I tried to put a little Star of David like they have at like the stores near me, but mm, I don't think that's working. Let me see if I can do like a little menorah. Okay, it doesn't have enough candles on it, but it does, it is a menorah. I think it has, I don't have enough space. Um, And then for the third one, I'm gonna do just a little guy. Because when I was a kid, we would get chocolate coins in our stocking, but my dad would buy like the US currency ones for us that had like the JFK half dollars and stuff. So I guess that's who we're doing. We're gonna draw a stupid little hair. There we go. We got the chocolate coins on my nails, but the contrast isn't very good. So you guys can't really tell. Uh, so far, I feel like the only halfway decent design is the candle. Sorry, this one is not as chaotic because I feel like I chose way easier designs, but the designs are still not coming out because I'm not a nail artist. Okay, on my final nail on the pinky, I have Hollow Tacos Not Milky White as the base because I have these three browns here, Hollow Tacos See Y'all Later Chai, Hollow Tacos Magical Mustache, and then Zoya's Amelia, kind of like three, like a range of browns. And I'm gonna try to put two little latkes on my nail. It's like a potato pancake or potato fritter. It's like fried in oil and they are so good. There's like plenty of different ways you can prepare them. Uh, my favorite is when you put applesauce on them. I was like, that is, my eyes are open. I am awake for the first time eating these. It was great. So I'm gonna try to make little latkes and they're kind of like, like a variety of browns due to the frying and you know you can kind of see like the individual grating of the potato pieces so I'm gonna try and use like this skinnier brush and just kind of like dryly brush on my nail in a vague circle we'll see how that goes and I'm gonna try and do two because I feel like if you only do one something goes wrong both in nails and in baking so and there's not really any like rhyme or reason I'm just kind of vaguely patchily brushing in a somewhat of a circle. Cause like, I've never had a latka that was like a perfect circle. They're usually a little bit, I don't know, different shapes. So that was Zoya's Amelia. Let's use Hollow Taco's Magical Mustache for the next brown up. I'm starting to feel like um all of these nail arts suck, but uh, not every video can be a banger, I guess. <laughs> especially when you're doing 31 in a month. For me, I kind of struggled to come up with ideas because I'm not super talented nail art wise, as you can see. And also a lot of the imagery associated with Hanukkah is hard for me to draw. Okay, those are my, those are my latkes. Okay, so sometimes when you add top coat to a design, you feel a little better about it. So I'm gonna use a water-based top coat for the smudge free effect and then see how I feel about some of these because I just I don't know I wrote down all my ideas and I was 
kind of excited for them. And then I just was doing them and I was like, I don't think these are as good as I thought they were gonna be. Like I said, like not every video this month is gonna be perfection, but I feel kind of sad about this one. Oh, the top coat does bring out the colors in these polishes. Let's see, for the designs, the thumb, I feel like if I had done a whole manicure, just like a dreidel manicure, I think this would be more fun, but on its own, it just looks a little bit too plain. Uh, after I top coated this, I feel like it meshed in the dots a little bit better together. So I do kind of like this, but it just feels kind of weird at the same time. So let me know. I think my candle one is the best executed. This is like the tree from last time where it was like the good one, right? But I don't think that anybody would look at that and be like, that's Hanukkah because it's just a plain, very too fat candle. Um, I like the colors on this, but I don't think that my design really showed through. Like, I don't think anybody would look at this and know what it is. Same with the pinky, to be honest. Like, uh, I am hungry now because I've been thinking about latkes for like 10 minutes. But these two, I just feel like were total flops. And then I just stuck my finger in this one. So that's great. The other three are fine. I just, I don't know. Let me know if you guys do Hanukkah nail art, what is your go-to style of nail art? Because... I just, I, I looked like online for inspiration and it seemed like most people just did Star of David's and that was kind of about it. And I guess maybe like there's just not as many motifs to go along with Hanukkah as other holidays, but I don't know. I feel like this one wasn't the worst, but it wasn't like the most exciting either. So I will be back again next week and also tomorrow, but next week for some more mediocre nail art and it will be Christmas themed. So... I hope to see you guys there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.